On Friday the 24th of May, I headed back to Fort Park, but this wasn't just any old trip. This was the opening of the UK's newest, tallest and fastest roller coaster, Hyperia. Now unfortunately, the day after recording this vlog, Hyperia closed again due to an undisclosed issue and it won't be reopening again until the 8th of June at the earliest. And that's why the intro to this vlog is a little bit different than usual because there's nowhere in this video where I mention Hyperia is currently not operating um, and that's because at the time, Nobody expected this to happen. However, stay tuned because in this video I'm going to be sharing everything with you, from the queue line, to the operations of the ride, to a review of the coaster itself, so that when Hyperia does reopen again in June, you'll know exactly what to expect. So let's head on over to Fort Park and check out this brand new coaster. So we're here and it's 7.02am. <laughs> this is probably the earliest I've been out of theme park. But we've got to get it ready because the queue is already looking pretty big. So we've made it to our spot in the queue to get into the park. You know what, there is quite a lot of people here, but I don't think it's too bad. It's not as bad as I was expecting. So the park opening time today is 10 a.m. So we've still got, what, two and a half hours until the ride's actually open. It's going to be a long day, but it's going to be worth it. So we moved a few rows. Not too far, but it's progress, and it looks like they've opened the security, the security gates. So hopefully it won't be too long in this uh, queue to get into the park, but then once we get into the park, it's gonna be a big old queue to get onto Hyperia itself. So you can just see the top of Hyperia there, and that thing is absolutely massive. <laughs> hey, we're moving now, we're into, we're almost at the, uh, the security bit. So we actually move really fast. What's the time? It's 8.01. So, you know, not too bad. We were waiting for an hour. Could be worse, but when we get into the park, we've then got a queue again. So here we go, let's head on through security checks and head on into the park. Look at the size of that. That is absolutely massive. <laughs> Literally, just compared to Saw, Saw looks like a baby. That's my first time seeing Hyperia properly, and it just looks fantastic. I cannot wait to get on this coaster. So we've joined the left side queue. Uh, but if you join this one, there is no queue there. And that's because that queue is for the rest of the park. And this one is for Hyperia. So as you can imagine, pretty much everybody is in this queue. So as you can see on the right side, there's no entry to Hyperia. Only this queue leads to Hyperia. Which I'm guessing goes around most of the park because... I can imagine a queue is going to be rather big today for Hyperia. A good few hours at least but we will find out. So let's have a look at the time. It is 8.15 a.m. The park officially opens at 10, so we will see what time we actually get on it. Who knows? We could be here for quite a few hours, but as long as we get on it, that is all that matters. So the queue is starting where Vortex is, and it's going around to where Colossus is. And the queue's been moving constantly so far. I can imagine that is gonna stop fairly soon because like the park isn't officially open yet. Get a good view of high period from here though. Look at that. And here we go. We're heading through this. This isn't the official entrance. This is a, this is the a little balloon entrance that was set up for the, the preview event last night. And Colossus is testing, so hopefully we'll be able to see Hyperia test soon too. Got another balloon archway over here. And this is where the queue actually begins down by where Walking Dead Ride is. I've got a feeling we're gonna be here for a little while. So I've heard they've stopped letting people in the park now and they're not gonna be letting anyone else in until 20 to 10, which is in 40 minutes time. So luckily we got here early. We have made a little bit of progress actually. There's a lot of people here, but the ride's not open yet. It's not even started testing yet. So hopefully it won't be too long when the ride does open. It's still gonna be a good few hours I'd imagine, but at least we're in the queue, at least we're in the park. Wait till that hour back. There it goes. Oh my god. That's the first time I've seen Hyperia running and it looks absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to get on this coaster. I don't think so. Thank you. 
So there's currently a live stream going on. I don't know if you can see that. However, that will be down by the entrance of Hyperia and we're nowhere near there. So we're going to have to, we're having to stream it <laughs> on YouTube instead, <laughs> even though we're in the queue for Hyperia. <laughs> but it looks cool from the stream. <laughs> So although we missed the uh, opening ceremony in person, we got to at least see it on the live stream and we got to see the fireworks too and the two planes that went around with the, the, uh, the gold and white, what do you call it, tails? Smoke? Yeah, you know what I mean. At least we got to see that. It was really cool. A great way to open this brand new coaster here at Fort Park. And it is now 9.50, so hopefully we'll start to move soon. So they are testing it some more. They are testing it with people on board now as well. So hopefully we'll start making a move very soon here in this queue. So it's currently 10 a.m. We have been in this little holding bit for an hour and a half now, or just over an hour and a half. So the ride is now officially open. There's people on it. The queue is moving, so we're gonna see how long it takes for us to actually get on Hyperia from now. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess two hours, but it could be longer. Look at the size comparison compared to uh, I just fell over a fence. Look at the size comparison compared to Solver Ride. Crazy. So it's looking like we're actually near the entrance now, which is great to see. And we also get our first toilet break as well of this whole queue, which will be very nice as well. And there he goes. Now I'm towards the bottom of the lift hill area of the coaster. It really gives you an idea of just how big this coaster actually is. It's massive. So here we go, we're actually in the queue now for Hyperia. We've had our toilet break and it's saying it's a 240 minute queue. And I don't know if that's from here or the very back of the line. Hopefully it is the very back of the line, but we'll just have to find out. Over here, just by the entrance, you've also got a Cloud Nine treat stand, which serves chocolate waffles and sundaes. I could definitely do one of those right now. I've not had any breakfast. I am starving right now. But we've also got a little uh, snack station here, Fearless Fuel. Here we go, entered under the Hyperia sign. So as you can see, you got the ride access pass queue, the fast track and single rider queue, and then also the main entrance, which is where we're heading into. So I believe that fast track is currently 20 pounds per person, which is obviously a lot, but it has sold out, as you can imagine. I know I've said it a few times already in this video, but look at the uh, inversions on Hyperia, and then, uh, look at the immersion here on Silver Ride. Like Silver Ride used to be the most in one of the most intimidating coasters for me. But now you got Hyperion next to it. It's mental. So so far there's not a lot to say about the queue line. There's just a lot of gold everywhere. I mean you got these gold fences. It's also just gone down as well. Um, I'm not sure when it'll be back up and running but they are testing it again. So hopefully 
it won't be for too long. So around the queue line you've got all these different boards which display all the ride statistics on there and it shows you that the height is 236 feet making it the tallest roller coaster here in the UK and then it's 81 miles per hour which make it the fastest roller coaster here in the UK and as well as that you also have a bunch of airtime apparently which I'm very excited to experience So the ride opened at 10 o'clock, so we've been in like the queue for two hours really, but we obviously joined at half eight, so we've been waiting quite a while now. <laughs> However, we are getting closer. We are getting there. You can see the station from here. It's getting very exciting now. Almost time to finally ride Hyperia. We're in the final stretch now, hopefully not too long to go until we're on. It has of course been a very long wait, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. Do you know what? It could have been worse as well. It could have been raining. That would have been absolutely awful, but it's not. The sun's out, We're having a good old time here in the queue. And hopefully, very shortly, we'll be on Hyperia for the first time ever. So here we go, we're finally about to head into the station. When did we join the queue? It was literally like, I think we joined the queue at half seven, wasn't it? Um, and then we joined the other part of the queue at half eight. And then the ride opened at 10, and it's now half past 12. <laughs> long, time. long, long time. But we're here, so let's have a look inside the station. This station looks awesome. You got the black and gold designs, got all this artwork on the wall. Here it comes, we're about to ride. Hi, Perry, for the first time ever. This is very exciting. So here we go, let's ride Hyperia. Now I'll let you know my thoughts when I come up. Let's go. Oh my god, that, that was insane, that was even better than I expected, that was honestly, I, I don't even know what to say, that first drop, by far the best first drop here in the UK, possibly the best first drop that I've done yet, the amount of air time you get on there is unbelievable, it's so smooth, fast, <laughs> I literally, I don't know what to say. So we were on row six, um, and then when you go over that first drop, you literally feel like pulled down. It's unbelievable. Like I can only imagine what it's like being on the back row. I would love to do that at some point. I'm not sure if we'll get to do it today. However, I can only imagine what it's like on the back row. But in the middle of a train, absolutely fantastic. I 
cannot describe just how good that was. You get an incredible amount of airtime on there. Just behind me as well, you also have a fantastic splashdown element, which is, it makes it even better. I cannot put into words just how good this coaster is. And you need to get down to Fort Park and ride it because this is by far the best roller coaster here in the UK, period. Okay, so now let's have a look at the Hyperion merch. I've come straight to the pin badges because that's the thing I love to collect. So we've got this one here. You've got different colored wings. It's got like a purple, green, and white design here. And you've got the blue design here. I definitely prefer that one. Have we got any more? Oh, we've got another one here. We've got like a black one, a sparkly one. You've also got a phone grip as well. We've got more colors over here. We've got a pink one. Hey, that one's cool. Like, it's like pink, but then it goes into a more of a purple. We've got all these lanyards, got some Hyperia socks. This is cool. This is a, uh, is this a hoodie? Is it a hoodie? Yeah, hoodie. We've got the Hyperia logo embroidered on there. And this is, oh, 55 pounds. More Hyperia socks. And this hoodie's really nice as well. This one's also 55 pounds. And you got the shirt as well for 33 pounds with that Hyperia logo on the front. Also a print. Whereas this one, this one's embroidered. We got a pink t-shirt over here that fades into a more of a blurry purple. This one's really nice. You got your uh, facial fear list on the sleeve. It doesn't have anything on the back, but inside you have a Hyperia wings. That's really cool. And around here we have another shirt with the Hyperia wings on there. And over here you've got Hyperia bears, Hyperia mugs. And around here you've also got a Hyperia bottle. With a nice blue design on there got pens or oh, you got another bottle here but it's a, a black design so much merchandise now there's more merchandise over here but I can't get to it because it's a queue a very big queue so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show you that but as you can see plenty of merchandise for Hyperia in this shop so we've just joined the queue so I'll be able to show you a bit more of the merchandise on this side now, this is the gold wings which look really cool this is one I'm going for we've also got this key ring here the Hyperia logo and the wings on there. Here you have a white hoodie uh, for £50. You've got a gold design on the front of the Hyperia truck itself. And you've got to find your fearless Hyperia on there. Got another hat down here. Now these are really nice. These are actually patches which you can um, stitch onto a jacket. Just like this one here. This is £70. You've got the Hyperia logo embroidered on the front. But of course, if you get the uh, the patches you put them on the back and it'll look really nice absolutely tons of hyperion merch here in the shop honestly i've never been on a roller coaster before and come off shaking but that was a first that was insane such a good coaster and what's even better when you come off a ride you get given this certificate well this is for today only um you get a certificate for hyperia officially fearless one of the first to ride hyperion on the 24th of may now the park is open till 8 p.m. tonight and it's about 1 p.m. now so we've still got plenty of time to get on other rides in the park which are currently on about what 20 minute wait max which is very good hopefully we'll get another ride on Hyperia later on but we're going to take advantage uh, of all those low wait times around the park now the swarm is currently on a 10 minute wait which is very very good for this coaster this is one of the most popular rides in the park is literally one of my favorite coasters here in the UK. One of the smoothest coasters here in the UK. Very excited to get back on it. So on the app it shows you the queue times for all the coasters and rides in the park. As you can see, all the, uh, the major coasters, they're all like five to 10 minute waits. However, you get down here, Hyperia, at 240. For some reason, The Walking Dead, the ride is at 35 minutes, which is very weird because like the swarm and stealth, they're all like 10 minutes. That's crazy, right? 240 minutes. There is the single rider option. Uh, oh, it's just changed. What's changed? Something just changed. I don't know. However, yeah, there is the single rider queue, there is the fast track queue as well. Um, so yeah, we may have a, a look at what that queue's like. So we've come down to this area of the park. It's a brand new area for 2024. It's called New Orleans Big Easy Boulevard. This used to be Angry Birds Land. We got a new color scheme. We got some re-themes of rides. It's looking very nice. 
So we got the Sweet Easy, which is a, obviously a sweet shop. You've also got Detonator, which has been reframed from Angry Birds to a, uh, a firework company. I love Detonator, it's one of my favorite drop towers. But yeah, I'm loving this re-theme. You've also got the Sunset Cinema, which shows Ready Player One, the 4D cinema experience. So that's changed from uh, another Angry Birds attraction. Very nice, I'm loving it. The Dodgeons have also had a re-theme. It's now called the Good Times Gas Station. But now we're gonna be taking advantage of the low wait times and head on to Stealth, which is now the second tallest coaster here at Fort Park. I ignite the spark within. I am not grounded by my fears. I soar through the impossible. I am fearless. This is not a story of any one strength, but of a triumph so great it lies within us all. I yearned to explore the distant lands, to touch the clouds that paint the sky tormented by one thing. As the waves come crashing in, I grew a strength like never before and forged my own destiny. Join us in our story. We are you Hyperion. You can
So just some entertainment there from the front of the Hyperia entrance. Honestly, it has been a fantastic day today here at Fort Park. One of the best trips to Fort Park that I've ever had. Obviously, Hyperia was incredible, by far the best roller coaster here in the UK by a mile. Uh, and then the whole rest of the day too was fantastic. I mean, all the queues for all the other rides were li literally walk on. Uh, I mean, I think the longest we waited for uh, the other coasters in the park today was ab about 10 minutes. So it's been a fantastic day all around. Hyperia was of course the highlight, even though we did wait, what, five hours or so to get on it. It was definitely worth the wait and you need to get down to Fort Park and ride it as soon as you can because it is the best coaster here in the UK. But that is it for this video. If you did enjoy watching, then please hit that like button to let me know. And if you are new around here, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell so you don't miss a single thing because we make plenty of theme park and adventure videos here, which you don't want to miss. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.